Hey everybody, it's Alan with Exploring with the Smiths. Uh, Carol is busy working on her channel and I'm gonna put it down below. You need to check it out. Those of you who like cooking, canning, beauty things, um, to put some travel stuff on there. Uh, her sisters and her just recently went on a trip to Mackinac in Northern Michigan. So uh, you could look forward to that on her channel. So get over there, check it out if those are the kind of content that you like. <clears throat> Today I'm bringing you a special excerpt of one of our bike rides where we are, yes, taking our little 10-year-old Yorkie on our bicycle trip. And I got him all outfitted. And why haven't we had Mr. Montgomery, who we also call Monty, on our channel before? Well, we actually had two Yorkies. And I, 10 years ago, I went to get Mr. Montgomery. He was on our, uh, the Breeders' website. We picked him out, we went to go get him, and when we went to get him, he there was one other little uh, boy left. <clears throat> his name was Manny, Man, uh, Manhattan was his full name. <laughs> and uh, so we called him Manny, and um, he was the last dog, and I he looked at me and I thought, I cannot leave this dog here by himself. So I ended up coming home with two Yorkies. Well, about three or four weeks ago, unfortunately, suddenly, we lost Manny. He passed away. He passed away in my wife's arms, thankfully, um, unexpectedly. And we knew then that we needed to start doing more with Monty. Now, Monty is the cool, chill dog. Manny was always the high-strung, nervous dog. He really didn't like to go too many places, even to the park. He would just bark at people. <laughs> And we used to, we tried taking them on a, uh, we had the carrier, the little trailer that we used to put our kids in when they were little before they could ride their own bikes. <clears throat> and um, he had none of it. He, he bailed out of that thing. And we ended up, every bicycle trip since, even with the kids when they were younger, um, we pretty much just left the dogs at home. And we pretty much were resigned to mostly doing day trips. Um, so you know the drill if you have, if you have dogs. Um, so when Manny passed away, we, we thought, you know, we need to start taking him with us more places. We're planning a big trip to Florida. We're looking for a place to, to move to and retire to here in Florida. <clears throat> and I thought we need to take him with us on the bike rides. I bet you he would love going on bike rides because he's such a chill little puppy. And you'll see here on the video. So stay tuned. You'll get to see him. <clears throat> so what did I have to do? Well, I needed to equip my bicycle for puppy. So uh, I'm gonna go up here in the corner here. And I'm gonna show you guys that have small dogs. These are for small dogs. If you have a big dog, a lab or something, I highly encourage you get on Amazon or online and buy yourself one of the trailers. Uh, they fold up. I still have mine out in my barn from when the kids were little. And even when they were riding their own bikes, you can put a big cooler in there if you want to do a pic big picnic. Um, so we would put gear in there sometimes. We'd haul down to like a park on the rail trail and we'd have a full blown, you know, hot dogs, hamburgers, a whole nine yards. <clears throat> so they're good for that also. They're good for carrying gear. And if you have a trail near you that you can camp on, you can put your tent and all your gear in one of these trailers. So they're very multi-purpose, not just for kids. Um, and you can put your big dog in that sucker and, and they love it. <clears throat> so look here. This is what I end up getting. My bike is black and silver. It's the Trek, uh, multi-Trek. They do not make anymore, unfortunately. But this would go great with my bicycle. I wanted to point out here something to you dog lovers. You can see how this is built for dogs, okay? It's underneath this covering you see, this, this sturdy covering is a heavy wire basket, <clears throat> right? And you see a lot of them, when I was looking at the reviews, they sag and they don't hold the animal, uh, the pet, uh, secure enough inside. <clears throat> this one is more expensive. Um, and honestly, the price has gone up since I purchased mine. I got mine for about 90 and there's going up inflation, inflation. <laughs> So uh, you can see here, um, this one's gone up quite a bit. There's other options. I think you can get them for about 115 bucks. But you can see here for the ladies, you've got pink, right? You got blue, 
you got red, you got orange, I guess, you got purple. But I went the silver and black, matches my bike perfectly. The other thing you'll notice here too, guys, is it's got a good heavy wire um, support that it clips onto. <clears throat> it's very sturdy. I was very impressed with how well it holds him in there and how sturdy it is. Now I did have to, you see this goes down to your, your, your center tube off of your handlebars. I had to make some adjustments to that to get the basket to sit level. But that's easy to do. It just you you bend it down or bend it up depending on the adjustment that you need to make. And like I said, I was really really happy with this product. Um, it's going to work great. And some future point, if he's not with us on a bike ride, I can throw jackets up there. I can throw gear up there. Right? I can put anything. I can, you can still use it for other things. It's padded inside, really well padded. This is the regular. Then they sell a large. Uh, if you have a little bit bigger dog, but honestly, I wouldn't get much over um, our little Yorkie. He's about somewhere between eight and ten pounds. Personally, with with the steering of the via, of the bike, I wouldn't go much above ten pounds with the dog. If you're getting up on the 10, 15 pound dog, again, I would look at getting some sort of a a, a trailer system. <clears throat> like I said, again, they fold up, the the wheels come off, they pack really tight. So you in the the uh, the tongue on the front of the trailer folds up, so you can transport to where you want to ride on your rail trail rides, and get this uh, trailer out. And it's going to be a lot safer for you and the pet. I would say uh, my Yorkie was about the limit of maybe a little bit more, uh, because you do have to keep both hands. And I do film with an Osmo Pocket. Um, if you guys want to get one of those I highly recommend it they're on to version 2 now <clears throat> but I was able to steer fine it took a little getting used to but if he ever fidgeted or moved um, he sat in this thing fairly tight we did try to put a, a small fleece blanket in with him and he did not like that he felt too confined so we ditched the fleece blanket and the other thing like I said you've got vents on the front and the back so as you're riding cool air is coming in and then you've got a little pocket on the side to keep another water bottle just for your dog because we have the little collapsible uh, water bulbs. <clears throat> so that's what we did. Now we're going to go to the next screen here on my Google Maps. And where we chose to ride this day was we wanted to go relatively close. It's about 45 minutes from our home. You, you can go back in some of our other videos. It's the Bridge of Dreams. It's up by Danville, Ohio. And I'm going to show you a little tip here. If you just want to go see the Bridge of Dreams here in Central Ohio or take the bike ride from where we rode, <clears throat> you can park right next to Bridge of Dreams. Now, we're going to zoom in here on Danville because what we did, as you'll see here, there's a subway. Right next to the subway is a Witz frozen custard. So we got there around 11 o'clock. We picked up a couple subway sandwiches and accoutrement and we we rode up to the parking space where we were going to do our ride from <clears throat> right so we had us a nice little picnic lunch we brought some food and snacks for a little puppy and uh, so it ends up working out great so we're kind of going to be getting off of our usual going out to a little restaurant or a local restaurant unless we do carry out because now we are going to be taking puppy <clears throat> we're going to be doing the picnic drill okay there's the Mohican Valley Rail Trail. Let's follow it along. Let's follow it along. You can see it here. It's going up. Google Maps, guys, a great tool. Keep following it. Looks like we got a. Yeah, so I didn't go up far enough. See, <clears throat> now this is on the Mohican River. Now there's canoeing here. There's a lot of campgrounds up as you go towards Millersburg. You'll find a lot of Mohican valley camping canoeing rafting the whole nine yards if you want to stay in this area and do more than just ride your bike uh here in my office sorry we got an incoming call <laughs> oh you can see here bridge of dreams right over the mohican river we're going to see this in the video so stay tuned but you'll see here as you get over here to the bridge of dreams you will have a little parking area here it is right up the way so what you need to do is here's Millersburg Road and just follow your just to, we just googled on Google Maps in the car and put up on our display screen in our car Bridge of Dreams and it'll take you right there 
you'll come down this uh, main it's called Main Street Hunter Road and there'll be a little trail a little car area that will take you up there is facilities here to use the bathroom they have um, covered picnic tables it was perfect we went up there it was, was July 4th weekend it really still wasn't very crowded and we actually just went northeast on the um, Mohican Valley Trail right here uh, going northeast from this point is part of the Holmes County Rail Trail System it's part of a huge network that goes all the way down into Westerville Ohio and this trail system will also take you up into Millersburg and all of that trail system up the, continuing up through the Holmes County Trail it is an upgrade going this direction but coming back we rode approximately six miles since it was puppy's first trip and uh, came back all coming back you hardly have to pedal right it's just it's just perfect um, so yeah so without further ado we're gonna get the video started um, just a quick side couple side notes here guys um, since hopefully COVID is beyond behind us now we're getting past all this mask stuff um, etc etc um, that pulled the plug on a lot of our trips last year which we're going to be up along Lake Erie. A lot of the trail systems up there, Warren, Ohio was on the list. We were going to go to Kelly's Island, which is on Lake Erie. The ferry was a, not, a bunch of nonsense. And up there, they had sn the snitches out. If you didn't have your mask on the entire time you were up there, you would get snitched. <clears throat> so we pulled the plug on all that stuff. So getting back into the saddle here, we've already uh, done a couple videos uh, this season. We have more planned Saturdays and Sundays as our target for day trips. But here in the central Ohio, we've had a lot of crummy weather. It's either been too windy, too hot, too cool. Even in May, we got some cold weather come through Ohio. It was even in the 40s, believe it or not. So, uh, yeah, so this coming weekend, we plan on getting out. As an example, it's going to be in the mid 80s, 30% chance of rain. We started getting up into the high 80s with high humidity. We're, we're not going to do bicycle trips, uh, right? So we'll probably do maybe a museum or something like that for you guys. So don't go anywhere. Hit like, hit subscribe. Please share our videos. Like I said a little bit ago, we've got a lot more traveling planned. Uh, yes, at some point, once all of this has hopefully blown over, we can get back into the cruise, the cruises again. The ship cruises and we can <clears throat> do some more traveling like we're planning this january spending a couple of weeks in florida right looking for a place to retire so uh sit back grab your favorite beverage and i'm going to click to our video here it's a great little video no talking no narration just some good music and some great clips of our bike ride thanks for tuning in guys and i'll see you on the next video ciao